You promoted the work of God. I want you to go to Dubai for seven days. Myself and my wife will support your studio with five million naira. Yes, so my country people, popular Nigeria billionaire prophet. <laughs> Now, now they see for my screen, so you are highly welcome, sir. He name now Papa J, the Owomo Womo Prophet, Prophet Money in the Bank, not be smart, you know. When I know say for some months now, when I don't the read news, me wrote me picking, I they always they praise this man, not be because of any other thing, you, know, you understand. People they say not be God, call on a devil, and this, that one not concern me. The one way concern me, sir, now the way this man they help people home and abroad, everybody they see, and you understand. Because not be this man get money pass for Nigeria, but we all they see the way they help people, the way they do things when be like say man, Nigeria government not fit do, you understand? Now the part when be like say man, I really like about this man. Not be smart, you know. Well, guys, this video and a long video and be like say man, I not go to take on a time. <laughs> Make on a come watch our Papa J they help one young lady. He give her money, carry and go to bed, pay for guys. Now video will be like say me I beg make una not just watch and below make una try let me share this video well I go leave una right now make una regard this video where I go see una for the ending of this video you promoted the work of God I want you to go to Dubai for seven days myself and my wife will support your studio with five million naira <laughs> Something spectacular happened as a young lady who testified online a few weeks ago was called to come to Mercy City by the senior prophet as he would love to bless her. Was there something special about her testimony? And why did the man of God request for her to come over? Let's watch. Something that touched me on the internet touched my heart. I saw a young girl, it's an artwork about Jeremiah and his wife. And there's something written up there that's the girl said she was in a dream crying people wanted to now kill her i don't know where the girl is but i've seen the thing on the in the social media the message that i am sending for the young girl whatever she is anybody that know her has a message to her let her come with this drawing i have a message to her and now she's finally in mercy city together with her husband with a portrait of the man of god okay you can see what is going on right on the screen there is only one thing that triggered me to this not by the drawing advertised the work of god this is the man <laughs> to the internet some are talking about the good things of christ in me that is trigger me have you come here before no, you're from where I'm from Obosi, Anambra State. <laughs> Anambra people, many years old. This is what you read? Yes. And the man of God also didn't go back on his words. Remember he said he has something for her? What could that be again? So let's find out. Watch. Young girl, I want to support your work. Because you drone me and my wife. You promoted the work of God. I want to ask you, what and what do you need for your studio? What I want is to open an art gallery, but I've been saving for it. And how much you want me to support? For any amount you can support me, I'm okay with it. Oh. Oh. Young girl, my name is Prophet Jeremiah Omoto from Papa J. Hey, you, have you traveled out in this country? No, sir. I want you to go and enjoy your life. Hey. I will sponsor you. I want you to go to Dubai. <laughs> For seven days shopping, and I will also send two of my workers to follow you. Number one person to follow you, Sophia. Number two person is Rita. Then I will support myself and my wife. Will support your studio with five million naira. <laughs> Are you married? Yes, I'm married. You are married? Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's there. Oh, you are the husband? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Have you paid a bride price? Yes, sir. You follow her to Dubai. Yes, right now, this is the one in five mil. Some me. Excitement is an understatement as she is overwhelmed of what the man of God has So guys, I also want to watch the full video. When I say I say this man, Papa J finished work for inside this video. Guys, truth not say make we not talk. Sometimes it could make it be say if we see waiting federal government of Nigeria, nothing do. Believe me, we can't see the individual they do. It could make it be say we go to praise that person because it's not easy. You understand? Just tell me which governor for Nigeria, which senator. Which president, right from history of Nigeria, don't do this kind of thing? You understand? Even they say, you know, they say, don't give me fish, but teach me how to fish. You understand? These same people, our government, they're not putting things in place when be like, say, man, we the citizens will feed the, you understand? They bring out our talent, they showcase our talent. No. Nigeria now will be say, government not send you, they don't care. Anything you want to do, now you know how you want to do, now you know how you, you understand. Your school, right from primary, right from KGO down to university, now you know. Government not the support. You understand? This man, kudos to Prophet Jeremiah Moto for free, because when I come across this video, the thing really sweet me, you understand now. So guys, this other video, they come from popular Nigeria pastor, popularly known as <coughs> Pastor Paul Eneche. Now, now they say for my screen, so you are highly welcome, sir. My people don't be smart, you know. When I know, say for the past how many years now, bass balls they take place for Nigeria. But this year, 2022, this year when we just did so, <laughs> the kind of bass balls when they don't take place for inside Nigeria this year, 2022, since me, Urum, since I was born, I never witnessed this kind of bass balls before. When it be like, say somebody go just collect somebody con or pier chewing gum, the next thing they just carry lighter, carry tire put for the body just like on the person go, i not just know the right word to use girl guys this man can't begin the swear ogun amadio her he sang go bible fire nothing when this man not a swear he say anybody will be like say man he get her for this bass boss when they take place for inside nigeria me i don't know say this man's a bit lay course like this so my people <laughs> not go try this course so you understand i will say this course as he just swear and i go just fast fast you understand it could just they affect these people and be like say man they get hand for all those things i i for too happy oh well for those of now be like soon i never felt watch this video i go live on a right now make on a regard this full video well i go see you now for the next update coming up soon love you all guys respect one love anybody who is interested in the destruction of nigeria destruction shall never leave his generation Whoever that person is, and wherever they may be in this world, whether in this nation, outside this nation, our history shows us that nobody who was ever interested in the destruction of this nation ever survived. I will not go into detail, but I know of a man called Gaddafi, who about the year 2010, 2011, from his country, was dictating what should happen in Nigeria. At a point, he suggested that Nigeria should be divided around re religious lines. Anybody remember? And there seemed to be some suggestion that he could have had a hand in, 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 in what was going on in this nation to destroy lives. Question is, where is he now? And how many of his generation, where is he and his generation? I say that as a signal to anybody across the length and breadth of this nation from every level to decree anybody interested in the wastage of Nigeria may God waste your life waste your destiny waste your generation somebody shout fire let me say two things before we pray because we have a lot a, a high level of ignorance number one nobody has the right to take another person's life whether it is in the name of religion or in the name of politics or in the name of courtism 
our constitution, the right to life is guaranteed under the Nigerian constitution. Is guaranteed under section 33 subsection 1 of the 1999 constitution as amended section 33 says thus everybody has a right to life and no one shall be deprived intentionally of his life whether in the name of religion in the name of politics in the name of religious war no one shall be deprived of his life intentionally safe in the execution of the sentence of a court in respect of a criminal offense of which he has been found guilty in nigeria except he was he, he was convicted of something but no one no one nobody from nigeria and outside nigeria is permitted to waste another person's life in any name so i announce by the apostolic mantle of god upon my life anybody wasting life i announce to you your generation is wasted your family